Okay, raise your hand if you can't hear me. There's always one in the crowd, isn't there? Yeah, the guy with the hat, too. I want to welcome everybody to Angel's Organic Farm. And thank you so much for taking your time out to spend a weekend with us, making uh, my dreams come true. And uh, I want to tell you a little bit, as soon as I get untangled here. That's a little extra cord. My, my adventure here started with my wife Peggy when she got deathly sick on me. It was my mission in life to figure out what it's going to take to heal her. I almost lost her. And through that terrible time, I always look for something positive. I don't accept the uh, philosophy of uh, it just can't be done or we don't know. Uh, there's always an answer. There's no such thing as problems. There's only solutions. And I set a life's mission out to find those solutions. And uh, through doing that, I also have to learn to let go a lot of times in life because sometimes you drive so hard and it's more about letting go and letting the life force or the nature take its course and through those things I've learned to do that and one of the great things that came out of that was meeting Dr. Yuri. I'm going to spend the first half of this lecture talking about Angel's Farm, uh, a little bit of the health side of things, what happened with Peggy and what led us into the whole philosophy and the energetic side of things and how uh, Dr. Yuri has come into play and then he'll take off from there. Uh, okay, uh, Dr. Yuri. Uh, he's, the, uh, he's the magic behind everything. I'm not a technical man. I'm not a researcher or a scientist by any means. I just uh, intuitively like to play with things and see what comes out of them. The, uh, the results, I believe, in my heart are going to be dramatic changes uh, in the future of where we need to go. You've heard all weekend a lot of talk about two subjects, I think, uh, uh, with David Wolf and all the lecturers and everybody that's been talking. What's the two key words that you've been hearing all weekend? Well, uh, uh, raw, yes, raw. Uh, okay. Mineralization. Mineralization. What else? Energy. Energy. Have you heard the word energy talk a lot? Yes. Okay. And that's what Yuri's going to really touch on. I'm going to lead up to that point, and Yuri's going to really talk about energy. And I was at a conference in uh, Kentucky a couple years ago, and they brought those two words out as the first time in years that they've ever started talking about those two topics. The old world was NPK. That's all they know is NPK, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. Well, there's a lot more to life than that. And we're just now, uh, the people that uh, started these uh, organic movements 30, 40 years ago are kicking themselves in the butt because people were talking about the energetic values and other properties of what really makes things nutritious, and it didn't uh, stick, and they're uh, now realizing that they missed the boat there 40 years ago. We'd be way ahead of the game now. Most everything I do comes from the standpoint of the KISS philosophy. Keep it simple. And you can have the S or whatever you want on the last part. Uh, keep it simple, silly. Uh, that's where all nature comes in. You, if, again, you just work with nature, it's got all the answers. We just need to learn to work with it. That's where the organic world comes in. You know, our minds are like parachutes. They only function if they're open. So that's what this whole program about, the whole weekend, the weekend, the raw. Uh, we've got to keep our minds open in order to let this great information in. And even if there's a, not a lot of science out here or documentation or machines that can prove the technology of what's going on, we've got to trust in our heart or feel it. And that's where Yuri will come in to talk about that. Can you check your mic? Please. Hello? Yeah. Everybody okay still? I don't know how to turn it up. The volume dropped out. 
Oh, I did? Yeah. I need to hold it closer? Yeah. No, it's still not. Anybody check the volume up there? Please? So I'm not here to tell you how to do anything or what to think. I'm just trying to get you yeah, to think. Good. There we go. So that's the philosophy. Get you to think. I again, I'm not a, uh, I'm not an exact scientist on any of this. So don't take everything I say as gospel. Please look it up and do the research yourself. That's what I encourage everybody to do. Uh, and don't rely on everything that I say. Learn it for yourself. There's so much information out there, and I'm just learning how to use a computer. I mean, I'm way back in our ages. So, uh, reading books, I've read thousands of books on topics and uh, videos. There's a lot of great information. It's not on the television. <laughs> I've shut my TV off about 30 years ago. I haven't had one, I've never watched one in probably 30 years. Don't ever care to watch one again. I've studied books, Victor Schomburg, Minerals in the Genetic Code, uh, Vibrational Medicine, Fertility from the Ocean, Secret Life of Plants, Dan Carlson, Sonic Bloom, we've worked with all that technology here, Leonard Horowitz, The Healing Codes, uh, all those kind of things. So it's, it's been a, a real balancing act to bring all of that into our greenhouse operation and to try to create health. My object here was to create healthy plants for healthy people, starting with my wife, and see if that worked. And then I've learned a lot about the plant industry since then. So anybody in here that knows somebody that's ill or, uh, or anybody here that is ill or lots of hands up. So another way of looking at this, what we're going to end up with.